So I'm doing a text to G code here. Um, my son's name's Josiah. This thing is supposed to say King Josiah. And if it were a piece of wood, it probably would. Um, probably should have made the letters a little bit bigger. Anyways, it, it's kind of neat looking. Um, one thing I found out, text to g code uses the G00 function that I mentioned in my first video. So it tried to go at 90 inches per minute, and I did not build my bot to be that fast. I can hit up about 75 inches per minute without loss of steps. At 90, it kind of goes nuts. So my x-axis was way down here, but it said that it was only at 2 inches. So I had to turn it off and retram the whole thing. It was kind of fun. I was scratching my head going, what in the world? But then I realized, oh, let me go check this file that it uh, text to G-code made. And sure enough, it used the ill-fated G00. Well, I'm still using it, but... In EMC2, you need to set the max velocity. Right now, I have it at 48.7 inches per minute. That's, uh, that's a, a pretty good spot to be in. But you can see it's doing its thing. Down here, it's doing its thing. You can see where my ruler was in the last video. Oh, you can kind of see it on the camera. You can see it says King Josiah. But this is a text to G code kind of example. If it had a tool, you'd kind of see a lot of crap flying. You probably wouldn't be able to see it because the shop back's in the house. Anywho, if you buy the computer, the Synchro computer, from Lumen Lab, instead of doing what I did and just use a piece of junk Pentium 3 that you salvaged, um, you'll get better performance out of this. And uh, actually... Ooh, yeah, those are warm. I would say probably a hundred and I don't know what can you touch for five seconds without burning. About 150 degrees, maybe. Ah, fail. Text to G code does not go home by itself either. Anyways, uh, let's 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 get it out of the way. G1 feed 50 x zero y zero and let's go Z one. Look at it go. Alrighty, I keep mine at a quarter of an inch because uh, if something does happen to go backwards, like negative 0.1, and you have it set to these blocks, yeah, that was my first mistake earlier. I had it set to zero, and oh boy, it was loud. Anyways, there it is. It says King Josiah. Um, as y'all can tell, I'm a family man. I give a shout out to him every once in a while. Alright, this is another installment of uh, tech-tut.com. I hope to have some more information about G-Code and who knows what else uh, is coming up. Uh, the, uh, that's enough. If you've made it this far, I feel sorry for you. Alright, we'll, we'll catch y'all later.